Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. I've got five points that I wanna go over for you in terms of Bluetooth vulnerability and security with your Ledger Nano X. So if that sounds good to you, let's jump in. So we go in here. So I, there was a, an article that I found on BitDegree that I uh, thought was interesting. It's a very kind of a weak review. The grammar is a little wonky, uh, but I did want to show just some things that they pulled up here. So uh, just the fact that your Ledger Nano X or S, it's a hardware wallet. So also known as a cold wallet, meaning that all your, your Bitcoins, Litecoins, your cryptocurrency uh, is securely stored offline. Okay. So that being said, a hacker simply cannot access it online. Um, so that's a pretty down and dirty way of saying it, but at least it gives you an idea of, okay, what's a hardware wallet as opposed to a mobile wallet? A mobile wallet is something that you can put your crypto onto your phone in an app, um, as opposed to these Ledger Nano S's or X's, or even if the Trezor, or if you have something else in terms of a hard wallet. All right, so scroll, scroll on down here. Uh, you might notice that the Ledger Nano X has Bluetooth low energy connectivity that allows you to use it without the need for a cable. But if you wanted to know what this, what is this Bluetooth low energy here? So um, I'll link this article here uh, in the description, but here's a quick uh, page here from developer and Android or developer.android.com. It shows you what Bluetooth low energy overview is. I'm not gonna go detailed into this because this is way over my head. I am not a developer. I told you that already. I'm not an IT developer. Um, but I at least wanted to give you the information. If you did want to dig deeper here in terms of permissions, in terms of what Bluetooth low energy is, um, that will be available for you to look at as well. All right. And then we jump on over to this article from IOTA News. And they talk about Bluetooth Nano X and or the Nano X and the Bluetooth feature security purposes here. So I wanted to bring that up as well because there were some really good things they had in this article in relation to, to just the different aspects of the Nano X. So the Ledger Nano X features Bluetooth low energy connectivity, enabling it to be used with Android or iOS devices without the need of a cable. While this feature greatly improves the user experience, it raises some concerns about the security of the wireless connection. Obviously, that's why we're doing this article. Okay, only public data is transported transported by Bluetooth, and that's what I talked about to you already. Uh, second point here that I wanted to bring up is the Nano X relies on secure element, which will request your consent for any action. All right, so just so you guys know uh, that the architecture of the X uh, features two chips here. So you've got the new state-of-the-art secure element, and then the dual core MCUs with wireless support, okay? You can read this article, go deeper into it if you want, but it just gives you a quick overview of what it is. You can see here, these are the, you know, the buttons connect with the SE, the secure element chip, which then uh, supports and shows you on the screen here the information that you're interacting with. So that's the chip that's interacting with that information. Uh, when it comes to Ledger Live in the Bluetooth feature, it's connecting and communicating with the MCU chip, okay? So they're two separate chips, and then these two talk back and forth with each other, but your private key, your seed, is within the secure element, okay? So uh, in this way, the MCU is sending public information across the Bluetooth, and it's keeping your information safe that way. Your seed is staying on the secure element. So they're not one and the same chip, if that makes sense. I'm trying to keep this as basic and easy as understandable for you guys um, so that it's not going over your head. I really had to dig deep here uh, and just kind of understand more of what's going on. And then Ledger is using BLE, or Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, for their Bluetooth connectivity on their system. So Bluetooth connection is only used as a transport layer for public information. Keep that in mind, public information. The secret keys or seed are never exposed to the B BLE stack and never ever leave the secure element. Um, if you ever, if ever your smartphone computer were compromised, if ever the Bluetooth link was compromised, if ever the STM32 MCU chip was compromised, uh, the secure element ultimately prompts you to verify the transaction information. All right, and then for step number three, want to go deeper into what is the AEA based uh, encryption scheme. And so right here, IOTA News has a great explanation of that. So uh, nevertheless, they say, hey, by the way, the Bluetooth stack may transport your public keys, keep that in mind, public keys, 
or addresses, and this could raise privacy concerns. That, that is why we implemented a state-of-the-art Bluetooth protocol. The Bluetooth uh, low-energy connection is a two-phase protocol, all right? So that's a key exchange and then the use of the BLE channel. All right, first of all, both parties, uh, this is your Ledger Nano X and then your smartphone, generate their own key pairs using a random generator. All right, and then after this, there is a pairing phase where after user approval, the Ledger Nano X and the smartphone go through an elliptical curve DeFi Hellman key exchange. That's what they call it. Don't ask me why it's called that. That's why it's called that. This phase is critical since it is a phase where the Ledger Nano X trusts the smartphone to which it pairs and vice versa. Uh, in order to avoid man in the middle attacks, MITM, which are the common attacks on BLE, the Bluetooth protocol has specific configurations. So giving it, you know, you, there's a quick paragraph here. I'm not going to read it to you, but uh, once this key exchange protocol is completed, a secure channel can be established between smartphone and the Ledger Nano X featuring the AES based encryption scheme. So that is step number three, guys. So then you may wonder, what is the secure element? So let's jump on over to Ledger's article in terms of what the secure element is. Um, in terms of withstanding security attacks. All right, so this was an article they posted back in October of 2019, but I thought that it was important to understand. I keep talking about secure element, SE, what is it? Well, here's some key takeaways. Uh, Ledger hardware wallets make use of a specialized secure chip called a secure element. These chips provide the highest level of security for a chip and are much stronger than traditional chips. Secure elements are used for high-end security solutions, such as credit cards and passports. So you may notice that on your credit card or your debit card, you have that little chip that's a similar concept. Um, or if you have a passport, that chip is going to be in your passport. Uh, but what is an SE or a secure element? So a secure element is a, sec a secure chip that provides an extra layer of security compared to standard ones. Uh, the smart card was invented in 1974 by Frenchman Roland Moreno. The goal of his invention was to manage and secure the access to, per, to private data. This could be seen as a start, as the start of the secure element. All right, and then moving on here. So, um, you know, they said the, the great, great way that this is used, some examples of smart card applications are credit cards, passports, and SIM cards. So as you can see, that's what we talked about already. Um, inside Ledger's hardware wallets, we use the secure element to generate and store private keys for your crypto assets. Thanks to the secure element, these will not leave your device. Um, I'll have this link here to this article. You can read more of it uh, in terms of, they go more into like different types of attacks and how it can be protected against uh, so that it gives you more, um, uh, more trust in the system, I should say, more trust in the Nano X in terms of how it's protected, how this secure element chip keeps your information, your data, your private keys safe. All right. And then I also want to find, okay, what are some, you know, frequently asked questions? Uh, uh, Ledger has a quick little uh, explanation here. Does Bluetooth affect the security of the Ledger Nano X? Private keys have never, private keys never leave the secure chip that we just talked about. Therefore, Bluetooth communication, BLE, which we talked about, does not expose the Ledger Nano X to any additional security threat. The BLE connection is end-to-end -end encrypted to protect user privacy. Uh, in the unlikely case the BLE transport was to be compromised, an attacker would never be able to extract private keys or make users sign a transaction they do not wish to sign. Read more about the Bluetooth security in our blog post. All right. And uh, so we jumped on over here. Uh, I wanted to see what else would they have on, on their, their support articles, troubleshooting section. So Bluetooth pro protocol vulnerability. This is something that I found that I thought was interesting. Um, they, they talk about how great and secure it is, but then they have this little article here, something to take with a grain of salt, uh, their vulnerability. A vulnerability in the Bluetooth protocol has been disclosed that affects a wide range of Bluetooth devices. The flaw applies to BLE, to a lesser extent, possibly including the Ledger Nano X. We take this dis disclosure very seriously and are investigating its effects. Even if the BLE connection were to be compromised, the private keys providing access to your crypto ass assets can never leave the device. We recommend installing the latest updates for your smartphone to prevent a vulnerability from being exploited. Uh, Things to remember, only public data is transported by Bluetooth. Critical data such as private keys and recovery phrase never leave the device.
that's good to know. Even if the Bluetooth connection would be hacked, the security of the Ledger Nano X relies on the secure element, which will request your consent for action. So there is multiple aspects in play that protect you in case uh, you may be vulnerable to an attack. Um, the secure element is there, the BLE is there, but this was something that they said, hey, by the way, there's a possibility. I thought it was interesting. Uh, I wish there was a date to this post here. Uh, they allow you to click on the blog post to get more information. Um, I wanted to jump on over in terms of, okay, what was Bluetooth saying? And Ledger links to this here. So the, here is the security notice. Um, key negotiation of Bluetooth. Uh, they get in, uh, into detail of some of the remedies, what's going on with the Bluetooth security. I'm not gonna read it to you. I don't wanna bore you guys to death, but that is something that I will throw in the description as well. Moving on forward here, I wanted to see what else did uh, Ledger have in their support articles for the Nano X. Uh, and they did have check hardware integrity. This is something that uh, I was like, okay, this is interesting to have, interesting to know for you geeks out there who find this valuable. I trust Ledger um, that I don't need to go this deep in terms of the article, but I wanted to show it to you guys just in case you were more concerned or you had other concerns and you wanted to dig deeper. So here, the, the MCU, uh, the secure element checks the full microcontroller flash at boot as described in this blog post. If it has been modified, you'll get a warning at boot. So keep that in mind. If you have a warning, you know what's going on here. Check out this article. Um, as an additional check, you can open the device to verify that no additional chip has been added compared with the images below, and that the MCU is an STM32WB55. So there you go. Here it gives, it gives you a hardware uh, revisions, revision one. You can see what it looks like on the inside there. All right, here, here for you geeks out there who want to have more information on checking your device here. The secure element itself is personalized at, the, at factory with an attestation pr proving that it has been manufactured by Ledger. You can verify it by running, and here's the code that you can run. The source code is available here. I'm not gonna click on it. I'll link this post as well for you guys. You have at it, have fun. Uh, the application verification. When opening an application, a non-genuine warning is displayed if the app has not been signed by Ledger. A modified user interface, also found in, here's a GitHub article, uh, link will also display a warning message on boot. So there are multiple things in place here to help you out and protect you in terms of using your Nano X. So the root of trust. The root of trust for the current batch is the following SECP256K1 public key. Um, as checked here, genuine.py. Um, so there's multiple aspects here on the hardware integrity that you can check out for yourself. If you are that concerned, I want to provide this to you guys um, as another opportunity, another thing to look into. And just getting back to the overall, here's Ledger's article uh, addressing the security of Bluetooth. I just quickly want to go over this one more time just to recap everything. Um, as you know, I'm a fan, a big fan of Ledger, uh, but I kept getting people asking me questions about is the Bluetooth security safe? Is it protected? Uh, will my private uh, key seed be protected and, and, and will hackers be able to get into it or not? So I said, okay, I want to do, I want to do a quick uh, video here for you guys. So keep in mind, one, only public data is transported by the Bluetooth, the BLE section, okay? That, that chip. Uh, even if the Bluetooth connection would be hacked, the security of the Ledger Nano X relies on the secure element, that other element. Remember that, that visual that I showed you? Uh, that SE chip, which will request your consent for any action. So you've got two, uh, two things there checking the device. Uh, and then the Ledger Nano X Bluetooth implementation uses a state-of-the-art Bluetooth protocol. This Bluetooth protocol ensures an authentication by using pairing. This is uh, numeric comparison based and, and confidential, conf ah, I can't even talk right now, conf confidentiality is ensured using the AES based encryption. All right. And then obviously they say if you're not secure, if, to me this is a cop out, but you know, if, if uh, you're not comfortable using your Nano X with a wireless connection, you can disable the Bluetooth using the USB type C cable provided. But like I said, guys, uh, I hope you found this uh, helpful. I hope you see that uh, there are multiple uh, steps in place to protect your crypto, even with the Bluetooth feature uh, available for your Nano X. 
you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Feel free to comment below. Um, if you have any other questions about this video or any other videos I've done, I'd be more than happy to do my best to get you information. Um, like I said, multiple people were asking me about this Bluetooth feature on the Nano X, so I wanted to deliver. Thank you guys for, for questioning and, and, and throwing questions my way and, and asking. I always love addressing these things. So hope you have a fantastic week, weekend, month, year. And uh, guys, keep having a great time. Keep trading. Keep buying into to cryptocurrency. It is the wave of the future. And until next time, have a great day.